I'm back here with the good hair. That's why they had to move. I mean, they probably did have to move. They've been moving a lot, it seems. It should have gone in the trash. That's why I was looking for a trash bin. Rue, you timed him out for 69 seconds. I didn't even see what had happened in conversation, but I guess if if he really wanted to be timed, oh, he asked. Okay, that's fair. If he asked, he asked. We have so many little knickknacks all the time. How big is this place? Not terribly big. I don't, I don't know that I want to do five rooms. It is the Leaning Tower of Pisa Pete. We also have a windmill. I don't know if it's a specific windmill. <laughs> Piece of dat ass, more like it. Oh, buddy. Pete coming in smooth with all of those sweet lines. Now we have a Wii. I had a Wii once. That was a fun system to have for a little bit. Now I just want to switch. So I can do more fun stuff on... Nintendo games. And we're back with the ducks, our little chicks. Ooh, okay. Um, do I hang? Put that there. Is that a game? Yeah, that's a game. Probably don't have to. Leaning Tower piece of dad ass is gold. It is gold, okay? Like, I'm not snuffing it by any means. It was a good funny. You made a great funny. And it was a great... We all had a great time with it. The le We was literally my childhood, so... I played so many games on that. Yeah, it's a great system. I think the first game that I ever actually beat playing on the Wii... Um, my Wii was blue because I ended up buying the Skylanders version of the Wii by the time that I bought it. Like I bought the Wii basically I guess a year I think before before the Switch came out or like a couple years before the Switch came out and I loved it to death. I worked that thing like it was nothing. I basically used that machine as a glorified Netflix machine for a while because I actually could use Netflix on it, which was sick. Pete's asking the important questions in chat right now. What is the adult version of a Wii called? I think it's still called a Wii, but I'm not entirely sure. Wee nor all of the dick jokes for all of the people, especially from the Peatman. Coming in hot. And I'm out. Are you actually leaving? You can't leave. You can't leave. We're unpacking still. What do you mean you're gonna just leave? <laughs> okay, bye Peter. Got a stream in a bit. Oh, yeah. You're going to do your regular show. Okay, well, have a good stream, Pete. We'll probably see you later. I don't know what to do with all these ducks. That's a video game. We have a lot of video games. Wii Sports or Wii Resort? Um, I liked both, honestly. But Wii Resort was probably more fun. Like, there was more interactive stuff, I think. 
but like I could be wrong. My memory's fuzzy on the whole thing. It's been forever since I played on a Wii. That's a smaller game. That is a Wii game. <laughs> Yeah. Did anybody ever have, um, like, I mean, I guess with Wii Sports or, like, Wii Fitness, you would always have to have that mat, right? Like, I think I had one for a while, but I bought it when the Kmart in my area was, like, closing down, so it was on sale, and I don't think it was any good to begin with. Ooh, wait, we have a music book, so I can lean that up. And I can put all of these other books with it too. And then this music notebook can also go with that. Mm. No, we'll just leave those there. What's Kmart? It was it was like a what target was originally, I think. Because then they rebranded. It was like Zellers, Kmart, um, then they turned, they were bought by Target, and now everything is basically a Target. In Canada, only had a Target for a little bit, which was a little bit sad to me, because I loved going to Target. And I think that's just like a very, like, North American white woman thing to say, is like, I loved going to Target, because there's so much at Target. Like, going to any department store, I think, is just, like, a, a good vibe for, like, walking around and either spending a little bit of money or spending more money than you actually needed to when you were going out. But it's fine, because it was, it was on sale. Yeah, there is Walmart in Canada, and then we have, like, other department stores... Walmart here, every time I go to Walmart, I know it's ridiculously cheap. And then I don't know why. Maybe it was like another ex-boyfriend of mine, like the one that I lived with during the pandemic with. Um, I feel like I got it into my head because of him that it was like, yeah, just because Walmart's cheap doesn't mean like you're going to find good products there or something like that. Uh, I've never been to a super target OB. Um... But yeah, like I when I was in college, Walmart was like a godsend because you would get cheap groceries and everything tasted good and it was like good quality. I don't know if it's just because like Walmart now or like the way that Walmart's been taken care of in the last while as a business is it just feels like it's gone downhill slightly. Like I'll go there and get like snacks and stuff when I'm hanging out with friends, but I can't say that like Walmart's my first choice of going to do anything and like picking up all of my needs. Super targets are life? They add a grocery store. Well, the target that I went to here, like the, or at least like when there was a target here um i feel like that was like a super target because it was park grocery store and like being able to go grocery shopping at target was like life Actually, as of today, one of the three remaining Kmart Marts announced their closing. So, wow, we're not gonna have a Kmart in the states anymore. That's insane. Next thing you know, like, I would like to think that actually no, you know, like Kmart isn't like Blockbuster, so we don't really need to have like a Kmart. But like, it's nostalgia. I like K. I miss Kmart. I miss like simple times. 
where is this garbage bin going? Right there. There's a Kmart near me, but it's always sad and empty. Yeah. It like it would get sad and empty after a while, right? Like especially if nobody's going there. The the lack of business, the lack of organization. Do I have an office? Oh, I do have an office. Okay, I fuck with this. Maybe I will unpack this place and then we'll move on to something else because this seems like really easy right now. Yeah, I mean, it probably has a lot to do with the pandemic with like what you're saying, Nathaniel, because when, when you couldn't really ship anything across the border, then you're kind of like screwed, right? Like if you're... If any trades that you had with other countries even, like, scratched the surface of being important, you would, like, honor that, I guess, to some extent and continue doing business. But if you can't do business and, like, you're screwed because of a global pandemic, what, that shouldn't have necessarily, like, became such a big deal in the first place because it was just as bad as the flu. Um then you would probably like have everything still be the same, but it's not and it sucks. All yellow suit, those are pajamas. Yeah, the pandemic was the nail in the coffin for retail. Like there are so many things that aren't available in Canada anymore, but technically I can still order them online. I just have to pay extra shipping I think now but I I haven't even bothered trying to order from like Bed Bath and Beyond or no there's still Bed Bath and Beyond here I think it's Bed Bath and Body Works I'm thinking of and it's weird because there is a Bed Bath and Body Works Bath and Body Works Bath and Body Works it's not Bed Bath and Body Works it's just Body Works um there's one near me but like I guess maybe it just doesn't have everything I don't know it seems weird hi Steve nice to see you Welcome in. We are currently still unpacking, but that's okay because we have a lot of stuff and we're going through all of the motions. I think it's 2017 in this part of the book or like the photo album that we have. Okay, Nathaniel, enjoy dinner. We'll see you later. Okay, we got a nice family photo. We'll turn that that way. Got a little candle. Oh, a little tea light. Okay. And I'll just put that there. Why not? How are you feeling today? I love that everybody's just checking in on Sam because, you know, she's a wild one. She's doing fine. There's no nothing wrong. She had a great time enjoying herself in the VC. She was really adamant about wanting to play EU Caps. Yeah, it was a lit night. Sam was the only person who was down to play EU Caps by the time that we were getting out of VC. And to want to be able to play Risk that drunk is just wild. No one would play EU caps. Yeah, because nobody wants to play EU caps at 11 o'clock at night, Sam. Like, we did it at 3 in the morning or, like, 1 in the morning. But that was because, like, the night was young. Everybody wanted to do something. It was Saturday night. Last night is Wednesday. Wednesday night. We weren't going. Like, people have stuff to do. You had stuff to do today, Sam. I know you had stuff to do. So time is an illusion. <laughs> oh, Sam. Time is an illusion, but not in the way that you think it is, probably. Perhaps. Not sure. Not a scientist. Not a doctor. Wow, we have lots of hangers this time around. And none of them really match. 3 a.m. is my normal recording time. Don't be knocking 3 a.m. morning EU caps. Okay, well, like, I just, maybe I'm a different breed. Maybe I just enjoy my sleep a little bit more. I don't know. 
I don't know about you. I could I could do 3 a.m. EU caps on a weekend, but 3 a.m. EU caps on a Wednesday is a little different. Technically, it's Thursday morning. So if I was up at 3 in the morning playing that game for that long, then heaven forbid the people that I have to work with during the day and how tired I would be and how frustrated I would probably get over the tiniest thing. We also shared our baby pictures. Yes, we did. I got to see a cute little Mamba and a cute little Sam. And then they saw me and Emily, actually. That's the only other person I left in that picture was me and Emily because she's already been on stream. I My other sister, Sarah, is in that picture. But uh, yeah, she's she probably won't ever come on stream, which is okay. She's... She's got a family, she's got a life, like, she she's doing her thing. Is there, ah, there are drawers over here. That's what I was looking for. The loophole is not needing to do anything the day after, exactly. Having like little to nothing to do. I mean, when I stayed up until three in the morning, technically I had a barbecue with the rest of my family the next day. But my sister was also up late. So, like, I just happened to be the more hungover one when it came to going to the family event. Which I'm not necessarily mad about. It was just, like, I was just quiet. And I just wanted to eat food. And as soon as I got the food, I was just happy. And I didn't have to do anything else. And then eventually we went home. And I went to bed. It was a good time to not have to human. Um, we will put you in there, I think. We'll put that there, under the pillow, because it seems like under the pillow works for a lot of stuff. Oh, let's put the book back. How'd you explain to them why you were so hungover? Well, to be perfectly honest, the only reason I was hungover that day was because it was also my best friend's birthday that day. So the next day, it just happened to be like, yep, this is what happens when I drink and I mess up my own schedule because my mom also knows that I'm streaming now. So when I told her I thought that my tournament game was at a different time, she was like, oh, okay, so that's how it happened. And even then, like, it wasn't the worst thing in the world. Like my mom apparently was also a little hungover but not even like my mom's not a heavy drinker but she can definitely like polish off a bottle of wine when she feels like it and she wasn't even drinking wine but it was like they just decided to have a bunch of mixed drinks like her and my stepdad and they like they were fine but it is, it is was it, it is in their eyes. They still were able to host. We had great food. The There was nothing wrong with anything that we really had at all. Not having to human is great. Yeah, not having to human is great. I love doing the least when I have no brain capacity to actually, like, have real thoughts. Like, the most of you probably saw me playing chess with Pete because he challenged me to hoard that morning if you were watching him. Morning for me, probably not for you. But I literally told him in the hoard chess chat that I'm like, my brain hurts. Like, why are we doing this? I have to get ready. And I didn't even let him finish the game because it made, he made it sound like he wanted to end it. And that was it. So I left the game and he was like, wait, I don't even get like the catharsis of winning. No, you don't, Peter, because we already knew that you were going to win. So I left the game. All I can think of about is this combo is duck drinking rum. It would fit very well with your family. I know, right? <laughs> She just left. Yeah, because I had things to do, Pete. Like, you're the one that's like, you know what's good for hangovers? Hoard chess. No one in their right mind has ever thought that was a good idea. Not even once. Like, I don't think anybody was just like, you know what? I choose hoard chess today. 
Like, you know how that joke is some people choose violence when they first wake up in the day? This person chose horde chess and thought it was a great idea. We have so many notebooks. This is wild. Okay. I think. I mean. Okay, we're like almost done. I like that I'm just gauging how much room we have left. Oh. Where did these things come from? Bin full of wires. Nice. Um, yeah, we'll put that there. So we've unpacked everything in the office. Now it just looks like this kitchen. Yeah. Okay. So many pictures, I know. Oh, we just have like another open style kitchen, I see. I gotta figure out how to join Mallory's tournament. Well, I mean... <laughs> I don't know why that capitalized, Sam. Was that you? Are you on your phone right now? Is that why? I think it's because you're on your phone right now. And if you're not on your phone, then you've got some interesting autocorrect going on on your PC. Yeah, I figured you were on your phone. Maybe you're just overly excited to talk about Mallory because we all love Mallory. Your computer is learned to show Mallory the respect she deserves. Seems like someone's been screaming at someone. Yeah, I mean, Rue, if you go on to the Discord and you decide to look at some historical messages, you will see that Sam was just peak excited to be a part of, like, everyone's life. Hashtag yelling. Yeah, yelling channel. All of the yelling. All of the time. All right, now we get to stack some dishes. Uh, does colander go under the sink or on top of the fridge? There is a yelling. I think that's all I need to know. Yep. Exactly. I was just typing what I was saying to everybody last night. I don't know why. Sam, you were just high on life and Discord and... The margarita song. I think it's hilarious that so many people on the Discord today were actually like writing their own version of the margarita song. And if you don't know what the margarita song is, I feel like you should because we've talked about this before in the last couple days. Um, there is a TikTok out there where um, some lady who I think is on like a morning news show like a radio show she first looks at this youtube video and it's like this woman preaching in an open courtyard and she's just like if i if you give that girl a margarita she'll open her legs and like people start cheering and like she's just being like oh my god she's a heathen da, da, da. and then the girl starts going and like give me one margarita i'ma open my legs give me two margaritas i'ma give you some head and like she just keeps going and then it ends up five margaritas 
So everybody putting in like their own, um, their own beverage and what happens afterwards was just great. Like peak entertainment. Yeah, Sam's song is about her progressively becoming a lesbian or more of a lesbian because she has a girl crush on Sophia Bush. Or is it Sophia Bush? I feel like I just got that wrong, but I think I also got it right because you were yelling so hard over that. My cough is self-inflicted. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yep, Sophia Bush, all right. Though it was just great. I loved it. Uh, it was hilarious for me. What Jackbox we playing tonight? I think I would like to probably do like I don't know. If you guys are feeling VC games, I kind of want to try and do quick sort. Like I've done it before. It's a like it's a good sorting game for people in a team but uh the cough not the sibling <laughs> um yeah i want to do quick sort and i can also screen share in the discord essentially so everybody can like see it we can do trivia murder party for sure i'm down to do trivia murder party because I know yesterday we did Wheel of Enormous Proportions and I crushed it. So I think I owe it to you guys a little bit to get another quiz game in there. Or like another trivia game that it seems like everybody likes. I think I can leave the toaster there. I should play t uh, Ninja Turtles with you? I mean, I probably could. I haven't, I have to download it. Do I have to buy it? Is that a thing? Where am I putting this menorah? I think I can just leave it up here. Yeah, we'll put it up there. And we'll also put the match, or the candles. Those are the candles. I peeked in Jackbox when I won the detective game that I've never seen before and didn't know how it worked. <laughs> No, that's totally fair if you don't have to do the Discord thing. I think, like, I think those games are just easier with VC because you have to talk to people about, like, what's going on in the game, I should say. But at the same time, people play these games without people in VC all the time and nobody really yells or anything like that, so we could probably get away with it. Um, but Poll Mine is an interesting game where you... you Everybody does a survey essentially and based on like the people in that group you have to decide whether something ranks in a certain way or not and it kind of works that way. I'll play all the other ones. Yeah, like I can also make this an easy Jackbox game night because why not? Um, when Emily gets off work, I or like when Emily gets home a little bit, like I do have to run out for like a quick second and give her something, but uh after that, there is absolutely Jackbox going on. Can I put you... Do I have to put the spices in an order or something like that? Put all of the ingredients, like, more together. Is that hoisin sauce? It looks like... Okay, so yeah, you do have to, like, put everything away. Um... Oh, and the toaster? Okay. Is that it? Or... Okay, you have to go on the shelf. I'm drinking so I can be fun, Steve, but not as fun as Sam. Hey, you can be fun in your own way, Steve. I believe in you. Oh, right, I left all of the bras. <laughs> I left all the bras on the shoe rack because that's not how you do stuff like that. In fact, that's the opposite of what you do. Um, okay, we're going to stack that and that. We're just putting things away, guys. That's all we're doing. We are 
unpacking. Hard to top me unless you're my. <laughs> Don't be sorry, Sam. I that top tier. Okay, I enjoy it. That was that was well worth it. You don't have to apologize for shit. Um, drawer, drawer. And now, where does the ukulele go? That's it. No. Okay. And chicken. Sick. If you had a good time watching, hit that like button. If you want to get in on more good stuff, you should hit that subscribe. Otherwise, if you want to catch the good stuff live, find me on Twitch. Okay, bye.